But I was actually a truck driver and I started getting stuff really funny on the road. And I started pulling over this, you know, trying to get the feel of what was wrong. So I went and the officer told him, look, man, I feel, I feel bad. Look, dial 911, call my wife, tell him I'm on my way to the emergency room. So after that, they kept me and they started monitoring my heart more. So I wasn't getting enough oxygen to my brain. He was transferred from an outside hospital with florid pulmonary edema and heart failure, was barely able to talk. He was a young guy. One time he said, Doc, don't let me die. I want to be at the graduation of my kids. Do whatever you can, help me out. And that was really, really something that I, I can just vividly remember each and every detail of that. He was just looking into my eyes and saying that, and it was just, it still echoes in me. Get well, get a transplant, and see my daughter graduate high school and go on to nursing school. So, I mean, as long as I could live to see that, I think I pretty much accomplished everything that I had set for myself. But I would still like to be here to continue to raise them as young adults. You know, I was talking, I remember talking to him and I said, look, we have a device. We might have a device pretty soon, you'll be the first, though. But that it will replace both ventricles. And, and, you know, we couldn't say that six months ago. The timing is right and I, hopefully this will help him to get a transplant in the future. It was to the point they said if I, say I, could, never, I could never make it another two months without the procedure. So I really, yeah, I can't win a fight with my hands tied behind my back. And I ain't going down on no one punch. This device is, is a bridge to transplant, so it's not a final therapy. But a patient like this, I was in the hospital for a long time, that needs both ventricles replaced. Uh, it's the best option that we have in the, in the world. I just feel better knowing I'm in good hands. I'm pretty sure I got the best team possible. We're praying that everybody just stay calm and you know help me through it. I think it dates back to the history of Oshner Clinic. In the 1970s, the first heart transplant was done in the region by Dr. Oshner here. And uh, then Dr. Van Meter started the LVAD program. And I think it is just a continuation of that to show that we have embraced the evolving technology and we've always been at the leading and cutting edge. Not many centers in the whole country, I would say as a matter of fact, not in the world, perform total artificial heart. So we have done that. So it is a huge thing for our patient population. Either they have to travel to long distances to get those therapies. Now we can provide that in New Orleans at Austin. I think we have a program that is, to me, is the best. We make a contribution, oxygen is made a contribution in cardiovascular diseases and especially in heart failure, heart transplant, mechanical devices, that is, to me, second to none. I had the privilege of working with an excellent team who had only one objective behind it, success for this patient, to get him through the jaws of death, get him out. And that was the feeling that I just can't explain in words. That really gave all of us a sense of accomplishment, a sense of satisfaction, a sense of feeling to go and strive for more and more better things and not to give up on our patients. So I made up my mind that I was going to go ahead and get up and walk. So I, I got out of the bed, I walked to the door, walked to the sink, that was it. So like the next day, I went all the way down the hall and made the lap. And I feel like I pushed my way through everything that I had to go through. I'm getting up walking around, doing much better. I feel better by the day. This is a guy who for three months did not walk before his implantation. And now he's walking all around the ICU. And it is just a feeling of so much of satisfaction, joy, and 
a sense of achievement that as a group we have really made an effort in this patient's life. We've changed his life and we all hope that one day we would be able to transplant him so that he will be detached from all these machines and be able to live a normal life. You know, it's good, it's good to see that we're helping people, which is the key. The fact that, that, that he's alive is, is, is a miracle. You should be really proud of yourself, man. Yeah. Not many people can do that. I think I'm also proud of the team I have. All right, good, man. We're proud of you, honestly.